Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII New Threat. This time I actually checked that the audio was working. It's a pain in the butt that it always decides not to work on the one time in ages that I don't decide to check it. Especially since I recorded something basically the day before. Alright, so I set up Kate Sith. Kate Sith always kind of throws off my setups because he's such a weird character. I've given him a lot of the utility situational spells. And, oddly, I've actually made him a physical attacker, so that's mainly there because I want to be able to put all Materia on him without his magic stat making a difference. And I figure with the luck he'll at least get decent crits, though really he has no higher luck than Demo or Mishi here. They just have way higher stats all around. Either Kate Sith Either Kate's HP is supposed to be his main thing, or he's kind of meant to be a growth character. Like, he get, he might get a lot more stats than everyone else from the rank ups, I'm not really sure. Mishi's actually my only pure mage this time around. Being as magey as ever. Though really, his strength stat is almost as good as Demo's, and significantly better than Pandemona's, even though I'm not specking him to attack things, which is kind of funny. But, there's only so much I can do for Pandemona right now. Uh, his stats are just so low. Especially that magic with the two all materia on, it's just three. And that strength is with the headband, too, so... Alright, let's see how this works. I don't think it's going to be that impressive a setup this time around, but... I'm heading off to Gongaga. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I'm pretty sure it's like... Okay, it's right there. <laughs> That was easy enough to find. Oh, battle. Let's see what I have to fight in this neck of the woods. Grand Horns. Um, alright, so I can start off with haste, I suppose. Or I can steal. Well, I don't want to steal yet. I actually don't have morph on anyone. Maybe I should fix that. I'm assuming Matrix Magic will hit them pretty hard. I doubt Laser will. Let's see if Legomorph works. Why not? Nope, it did not work. Let's have Mishi use this cross slash to preempt uh, the Grand Horn. And then paralyze it, which works out nicely. That didn't do too much, considering she specced out to be a pretty strong physical attacker, but. The Legomorph did nothing, which sucks. Phoenix Down is nice, though. Let's see if I can put them to sleep. I've noticed that uh, the headband prevents sleep, which makes me think that sleep is on average going to be the weakness of physically attacking enemies. Alright. So, no sense in sensing, because... Nice. His own limit boost helped out a lot. Yeah, there's no point in sensing right now because I don't even have morph. Just keep stealing for a moment. I don't have any way to regain the MP with uh, Pandemona. I guess there's no reason not to osmos this thing. I think it might actually have an Earth affinity because they have some ground attacks in vanilla, so I'm not going to try using Quake on it, even though I'm pretty sure this thing is heavy. I can put it back to sleep. I'll just hit it. See, Panamona is much, much weaker than Demo. Half as much damage is nothing to sneeze at. It's not even like she's hitting a weakness or anything. Yikes, that hurt. Yeah, I just wanted to punch it to death to save Cloud's MP. Not really super important, but no sense in wasting it. Orgong. That does Berserk. It'd be useful. Uh, cure both of those people up. I'm going into a boss fight, so maybe I should heal more than that, but... Uh... See, the thing is, I don't even really want to put Elemental on Panamona even though it would be useful for, say, the Turks, or maybe those heavy uh, guys later. Maybe I should put Earth on Magic, though, for those guys, because 
Pandemonium's not going to be doing a lot of damage to them. Alright, I think that's good. I don't think the fire will actually be that useful, to be honest. Anyway. Get out of the buggy, whichever button that is. Let's just save here. And let's hope that everything goes swell. Alright, I think it makes me fight the Turks right away. I don't think I get to go into... Gongaga yet. It doesn't seem like something you should be spilling the beans to us of all people, but you know. <laughs> I mean, you were a pretty pretty forgettable boss fight. Two deadly wastes and you were down. Alright, Turks and Vanilla have good stuff to steal, but I'd at least want to haste before doing that. Oh gosh. Okay, so... Kate Sith is out of it, which doesn't matter a whole lot because he might as well not have existed to begin with, but... Which one did he end barrier? I couldn't quite tell. But it does mean I don't have my barriers, which sucks. See, I don't actually want uh, poison for the poison status. I want poison just for extra damage, so that works out just fine. But I definitely want to steal what they have. Talisman, yes. The, see, stuff like that is good to get. I definitely have to keep my HP up. Whoops. I thought that was Mishi for some reason. Doesn't matter. She does less damage than he does, so... Steal from Root now. Tiger Fang. That's a weapon. Could be useful for throwing, if nothing else, I suppose, but... I could slow them with a Molotov or something, or a spider web. Maybe it makes sense to use a spider web. Eh, but they they kinda suck. I already know they kinda suck, so. It doesn't look like they're doing that much damage to me. Okay, so they even did the damage there. There's a little bit of delay before the slots stop, so I have to be a bit careful. Nice. That was like a thousand damage right there. Plus Mishi gets a boost. It looks like he's hasted, but he's still kind of slow anyway, it looks like. Oh hey, he did get poisoned. I'm just gonna attack. All their attacks so far have hit for around like 200 damage or so, so I'm not too concerned. It also looks like I'm running out of MP. I should Osmos before the boss fight ends, because Rude will probably have some MP. I don't know what the enemies will though. Yeah, see I get all of that back. If only he didn't have a barrier, I'd get even more. Alright, now he's healing that poison. And a fair amount besides. Oh, that doesn't heal the poison status. Wow, I should definitely heal that. And he also hit demo too, so that's new. You know, I should have had her heal Cloud and had Cloud heal her, but whatever. Well, hopefully the 
guess I'll finish him. <laughs> there we go. And Keita did about as much as he normally would have, so I'd call that a win. Does he actually get EXP though, is the question. Yep, he gets a whole pile of EXP for sitting there doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> wow. Way to bring that up, Pandemona. Way to bring that up. Alright, uh, you don't actually have Restore, which means I'll have Demo do it. Oops. Good enough. Alright, this is the way to Gongaga, I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna go there first. Oh, that's the way to the reactor. Well, either way, I'm gonna go there first, so let's just do the run around. Hey, it's the Fort Condor guy. Though again, maybe I sh should go the other way first. Okay, giant beetles. I'll have her haste herself. I can let the other characters' ATBs charge. Oh gosh, they, that just got wasted. These enemies are probably heavy, so... Uh, not too much sense in using Demi All. I can go for Lagomorph again, or I can set up a barrier. I don't know exactly what is going to be helpful right now. Okay, that was definitely helpful. Good work, Kate Sith. Uh, I almost shouldn't have wasted that MP now that I see that LEGO Morph works. Uh, whopping 25. Whatever. There we go, got my second turn up, and now you're basically out of the fight, too. Oh no, that didn't work. Uh, well, I guess I gotta heal Demo now with Cloud's turn. You know, let's punch the one that's actually not a frog. I don't always use cover counter on demo. Uh, oh, let's use Quake actually. But right now she's actually a lot tankier than Kate Sith. So, nice. Good work, Kate Sith. That was your one attack in ages. Might as well just hit it. I want to steal. Spiderweb, nice. If I had actually, oops, if I had actually used one on the Turks, that would have made up for it, but I didn't. That one already got Osmos. I guess I'll just drop Quake on it. It would have taken Mishi a while to get another turn anyway, so it's not like he's gonna burn through his MP. Nice, a high potion. Alright, now let's give her some morph. I'll probably fit the restore in somewhere else. <laughs> As if she needs even more dexterity.
right, made it to town. Thank goodness, because I kind of need an inn right now. <laughs> There's the reactor. It looks like it's in the wrong direction from where the reactor actually is, but details. Oh yeah, this part. No, sorry, that was Kate Sith over there, you know, the giant stuffed animal. He was the one in Soldier. Wow, Demo actually left the party. That's interesting. So can I just, like, leave without Demo? No, it doesn't actually work. And now I bought myself another battle. That is, that is really fantastic how that worked out. <laughs> um, I hope Lego Morph actually works. I'll make this guy a chump. There we go. Uh, Razor Silk actually still affects me, but... Oh, it only does one damage. It's just irritating. Kate Sith was already slow enough. Weak against fire, ice, and earth. So all the things you probably expect. Alright, I know I'm sitting right next to the inn, and this won't kill it, so... That's pretty good. Okay, it'll only take one more hit. And it almost went for the counter KO at the wrong moment again. Hourglass. Is that stop? I think it's stop. Yeah, I already checked that one, so it's stop. Alright, back in here. I probably missed a line of dialogue or something, but... Leaving the town, but I just had to check. I assumed that you, it wouldn't work, but... Alright, so item shop. Still nothing too new here. I don't think. I would have been surprised if I actually bought anything, but it's the principle of the matter. Can't just walk by without trying. Really? I thought that was impossible. How how did anyone live before they existed? Headband. I can buy more headbands. I can buy the hybrid brace, which I don't want to fork money on. This is not the thing that I would use. Kate Sith would probably be the best recipient of it, but... Um, Star Pendant... I just got another Talisman, so I can't see myself getting another one. Fury Ring is the new one. Auto Berserk. And Strength and Dexterity plus 30. It does make a pretty big difference. Mystify, Argot Target, Alter Target Behavior. I think this is like Confuse and Berserk. I'll definitely want one. Heal I've got, Transform I've got, Time I've got. So yeah, I think I'll probably buy both of these, but I want to check out what other stuff I have to buy here first. Just to make sure that I'm using my money as wisely as possible. Alright, Hard Edge is mostly an attacking slash tanky cloud. Is any of this stuff even new? I'm pretty sure this stuff was available before. This is for a magical Yuffie, which I don't want. I actually do want a couple Molotovs. I realize that I should really have a few of these, especially since I don't have a way to inflict slow right now, other than these and the spider webs. And these are the most efficient thing to use most of the time. Alright, let's look at myself. The Fury Ring, which I think is basically 
very useful. Like, it's something that I definitely don't want to be without. And Mystify, which I'm assuming is an, also an, going to buff my vitality and all that, as opposed to reducing it. So yeah, this could be another thing in Kate's this bag of trips, tricks here. But I already have something that I know I want to use Seal on, something I know I want to use Transform on in this relative area of the world, so I'll just leave them as they are. And a chest. I didn't think there was a chest around here. What is white and phone? Restores MP. Okay, this is really solid for later because I'll probably want to make Kate Sith a caster later. But for now, I'm definitely keeping the yellow M phone on. Just so that Kate Sith has some sort of backup when his bag of tricks doesn't work. No way, 80 gil? What do you take me for? And X Potion. That's pretty nice. Alright, looks like that's all to get here. Alright, Fort Condor guy. I don't have 4,000 gil. Dang it. I probably should have done this first, because I'll, I'll get the money back from this, really. I don't know if I actually need all 4,000 gil to start the minigame, though. Alright, I'm gonna save here. And let's see if I actually assign my buttons correctly. I ran... I assigned one to R for rank up and one to T for 10. Let's see if I got them in the right order. I did not. <laughs> well, that goes another 10. T for rank up. That's how it works. Let's see if Kate Sith got enough XP. Oh, Piley did apparently. That's not what I expected, but... Oh yeah, right. Piley didn't get one before. So let's see. I don't really want to go strength, so the first two are basically out of the question. Red Mage is strange because it doesn't actually have any strength, which is what I would normally associate a Red Mage with, being a hybrid character, but... And then Cosmo Protector is entirely defenses, which is arguably pretty useful on Piley. But I think I'm going to start with a magic boost. Actually, then again, Piley already gets a magic boost during battle, so for long fights, this won't actually be that significant. I think I'll I think I'll do Red Mage first, and then do Cosmo Protector once. Now Piley's looking a lot stronger. And Tank here for that matter. Piley's spirit was surprisingly low before. And a, a decent dexterity boost also is pretty nice. Piley's definitely getting pretty fast now. Alright, let's see. Alright, Pandemonial ranked up pretty quick, which is kind of what I expected to happen. Okay, it doesn't seem like uh, Pandemona just really uh, levels up fast. I'm pretty sure most of Pandemona's stat upgrades before were luck-based, so this that isn't so much the case anymore. I'm pretty sure every single set had a luck boost before. 
Yeti Pal allows Pandemona to be in the front and attack. See, there's definitely something to be said for the front row set like I'm doing now, because that way Pandemona can use his HP to do something more. But, yeah, Pandemona, I feel, is mostly a utility character at heart. So this, being in the front row allows Panamona to use the MP on the spells without having to worry about running out, but being in the front row also means that he takes double damage, which isn't very good. It looks like I can build him in any direction. But as it is, I think Dexterity might be the imp most important just because it's so low. Unfortunately, the only Dexterity boost ends up coming up with a Strength boost, but that may be useful in the short term anyways. And then I could just go straight up tank with Vitality and Spirit, which, might, which is probably worthwhile as well. I think I'm definitely going to want to go in general Dexterity, Vitality, and Spear. That way Pandemona can just flip rolls when necessary, but the Dexterity is definitely needed to... It's a significant upgrade. I'm definitely going to go for the Dexterity first. Alright, so that helped out a lot. Um, his strength is actually looking meaningful now. His dexterity is decent at 40. His defenses are still really bad, but I plan on pumping those in the future. It's just I need Pandemona to actually be able to do something before I bother making him a bit tankier. Oh wow, a second rank up. Didn't expect that. Well, let's go for defenses then. I mean, I'm assuming Pandemona gets these rank ups extra fast to make up for the fact that he showed up a little bit late. And I'm sure Vincent will be in the same boat. But it seems like it wasn't quite adjusted right, because Pandemona is now getting two upgrades before anyone else gets to the second one, I think. Pilate just made it to the first one, after all. Alright, so now Panamona is looking at least a little bit better. Still generally pretty low stats, but it isn't completely in the toilet anymore. Oh, apparently I missed one somehow. I must have just walked right by the guy somewhere, but I don't remember seeing him. Uh, okay, if they've got Gil for this battle, I don't need to... Okay, I do need 4,000 Gil then. Alright, so I probably want to sell this diamond cliff. I've got another one, so it's not like I'm that worried about it. Oh boy, Tiger Fang. I, did, I didn't even realize that was new. I thought it was just the Mithril Claw. But no, this is much better than the Mithril Claw. It's not as high of dexterity boost as the motor drive, but at the same time, it lets me use elemental, so... But for now, I don't actually want to use elemental, I'll just slap destruct on her. 
just in case something is barrier. Alright, with that, I can probably conclude that the Mithril Claw is not useful. I guess I could also sell trash like the Assault Gun. It's just initial equip. 175. 160. And then another 375 is just enough. I guess it's fitting that Rude would have a weapon for Tifa to steal. <laughs> Did I actually technically miss the battle because I... Well, I think I actually have to reset. That's annoying. And now I did this. No. But apparently they didn't, so fail on their end. I didn't lose a single guy. Silver Armlet. Alright, so yeah, I keep all my gill except for like 100. I hope I didn't miss anything super useful from the last Fort Condor, but like I said, I have no idea where it was, so... Alright, let's see what the Silver Armlet does for me. Normal Growth, Fairly Balanced Defense, Magic plus 15, and... Yeah, Magic Defense is actually pretty high. So yeah, this seems like it would be a good thing for Michi on the whole. I get less growths, but I think it's worthwhile. I also get an extra slot, which is cool. I think I want to go fire with this one, or maybe ice. Yeah, I'll go with ice for now. This will allow me to hit the bugs outside and also level my ice material, which I kind of want at level 2 before Nibelheim, if possible. Okay, we're back, and now to grab that materia that was just sitting there. Added cut. So added cut essentially allows me to use something and then add a cut afterwards. It's... I wonder what the stats are. So strength and magic down and dexterity up. Might be a good thing for Kate Sith, actually, for the moment. Just because I can use something and then whack it afterwards. But I kind of like this barrier all the, uh, gravity all set up. And I'm not sure what I would pair added cut with exactly. Then we've got Tifa who could pair something with added cut as well. I could get a de facto mug from that, but I don't really want to use the materia slot right now. If I actually had slow, I might pair added cut with time, but at this point I still kind of want to level a lot of these materia, so it's not too big a deal. I mean, I don't need to level morph, but so this takes me out. I don't want to go out yet, but I might as well save. Now it's time to head over to the reactor. Alright, let's see if I can morph this one. Oh yeah, I morphed the other one, it was just an hourglass, so it's not really that impressive. Similar damage, but now I have an extra materia slot. It doesn't help me too much right now, because I'm not facing a boss, but... That's irritating. I don't think I'm going to waste my MP here. I can use, like, 20 of it. Yeah, Kate Sith is significantly stronger already just from those rank ups. Goodbye.
Oh yeah, there's a save point right here too. Probably in case I wanted to save after the Turks and then go this way first, but... I also know that there's a new boss fight in this area, so look forward to that. Um, ruined Reactor. So normally you can just go straight for the materia in that hole and grab it. But now we're doing a thing. Saying <laughs> clearly is just saying what he needs to say. <laughs> This is going to be a thing. Oh wow, is this going to be a pincer attack this No. He came from in, from over there. I thought it was going to be a pincer attack for a second just the way the camera was panning. Well, the fact that I start with a whole pile of limit breaks is pretty nice. And I should really set up barrier right away. And I'll hit the attack squad with a cross slash. Probably be most useful on them, because I th that guy's pretty tanky, I bet. No, uh, they seem to not take a lot of damage either. Alright, now I want to haste. I just wanted to use the limit break first, because I wanted to have a chance to build up more limit break before while well, my characters are getting attacked, rather than setting myself up first. Okay, I definitely need healing. So Cloud can get it off. The other guy's paralyzed, which helps. Alright, I'm going to actually haste Panamona next. Alright, let's demi all these guys. I think it'll do decent amount to the attack squad, so... Yeah, that's 600 damage a piece. That's nothing to sneeze at. Beast Mishi up. I guess now's the time to throw a Molotov at the boss. Or maybe a spider whale. There's spider web. Whale. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> the boss might actually... I think this is a good boss to use my earth drums on, actually. Wait, no, this is Lich GT. He's immune to Earth, I'm sure. Uh, Fire Veil might be a better bet. But meanwhile, Molotov. I definitely want to slow the guy down. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go for E skill, because Matrix Magic's pretty solid here. So everyone's on haste. Um, let's try to steal from these guys couldn't steal anything. Alright, let's put this... Let's put Attack Squad B to sleep, because I suspect it'll work. Cursed LG. Does that make it difficult? Does that give a zombie to me or something? Or does that just do damage? Hopefully this works. I can't heal with her anymore, so... Let's just hit him. That does not do much damage. I don't have multi-target healing, so... Oh, two people are on seizure, too. That's not good. Alright, let's put you to sleep as well. I'll probably major magic these guys to death, or at least attempt to. Just echo drops. That's not really important. Oh, that hits everyone too. That hits all of them too. Of course, it does benefits for them. All right, let's heal Mishi. And then I think I'll use an antidote on Eat Sith with her. Get rid of the duel too, which is nice. Um. 
I'll have him heal Pandemona. I'm starting to think M Barrier would probably be a good call. He seems to have a bunch of magic attacks. Alright, I don't need any more Echo Drops, so I'm not going to worry too much about those. Let's have her steal from Lich right now. So she's not really that strong, and he's in the back row. Earth Mallet. So yeah, very... I think because of the zombie, they're going to be absorbing bio, so I'm not going to try that. Instead, I'm going to sense this one, because I think that one's taking the most damage. Nine twenty-nine. Okay. Does anyone need healing? I mean, she kind of needs healing. That countdown sucks too. Uh, that's not what I meant to do at all. I don't think this will work. That cross slash will work, so may as well do this. I'm going to throw the fire veil at the boss right now. I don't know how much HP the boss itself has, but... I think I'm going to want that extra damage. Um... So this is this is the question. I kind of want to revive one. So I'm going to have Kate Sith slow himself with a spider web. That way he can get Cloud back on his feet. There we go. Hopefully that'll that'll hopefully give me a chance to heal up. And now. do that, we want to get some Matrix Magics off. Ideally, I'll get to morph one of these guys. I want to know what they have. Probably not anything super impressive, but... Alright, I'll punch him with Demo. Won't do that much, but... Alright, Cloud is dead. Let's wait in the menu, try to give Kate Sith as much time to survive as possible. Alright, let's wait till Kate Sith's next turn. Okay, there, there it is. Hopefully the boss doesn't attack during this time period. There we go. I think this transition was made pretty successfully. If the spider web wasn't put on Kate Sith, I probably would have died there. Ah, this is probably going to hurt. That's some slow numb. Huh, does that- I wonder if Kate Sith is still going to die or if he'll actually be slow numbed. Let's haste Cloud real quick, because I need him back hasted. And Cloud should probably heal himself. Let's do this. This is probably a free turn. I just hope it doesn't wake up both of the attack squads. It only hit one. Okay, so that's death for him. I probably want to use a soft on Tifa first. Because I don't want her getting actually getting petrified. Nice dodge. Okay, Tifa's fast, so let's... Ouch. Let's have her heal up Kate Sith. now I have a chance to cure. Wow, he actually gets revived with quite a bit. Alright, punch this guy. Punch him again, and now let's put him back to sleep, hopefully. Oh, this is Cloud. I'm not gonna do this just in case he dies, but... Okay, he died. So I'm glad I didn't do that. Alright, I think a heal is in order, probably for demo.
And now let's haste Kate Sith. My barrier is starting to run out, so... Um... I'm trying to think of how I should do this. I think an attack from Kate Sith plus an attack from Demo is probably the best option. Meanwhile... Oh shoot, I guess I should have put fire on him after all. So, attack, plus attack. Demo actually might not kill it. I'm just gonna try with her. It's probably not a big deal if I don't get the morph. I doubt it's... I suspect it's not useful, but you never know. Ah, well, that's definitely gonna kill then. It would have killed anyway, even without the crit, though. Okay, so now we just got the big guy. Let's send him to know what I'm dealing with. Cursed LG again, this sucks. I don't think I got a double countdown this time. Weak against bolt, weak against water, weak against holy. I don't have a lot of any of those things. Wow, he's not actually weak against fire. Well, it was not a great use of my fire veil then, but... I guess go for the braver then. Or at least I didn't put elemental earth on anyone like I was considering doing for the other tank guys in this area. Okay, so I'm not convinced I want to spend my turns on barrier and end barrier. I really should have had a better barrier all on Kate Sith. Smack, smack. I'm still doing some decent damage, though, so... Corpse Gas. I don't think he used... Though, this might be the thing that uh, put me on countdown, so I want to kill him ASAP. Do you have anything better to do than that? Um, I guess just hit him. My countdown timer is gonna run down fast, so... I just got a death of a thousand cuts him as much as I can. I'm not going to bother healing the poison, I just want to do damage. I'm hoping that he doesn't do anything that'll kill someone before... Uh... Well, even if he does, that'll make it easier to heal if nothing else, so... I've done, like, over half the HP he had left. Nice crit. Oh, this is gonna be close. good use for my Cactuar gun, actually. I really need this extra damage here. Wherever the thing went. Where is my Cactuar gun? Just barely. I hope Cloud doesn't die for some reason in the outro. Does he die from getting dropped to zero? I hope not. Nah, he does. Crud. Oh, he gets the EXP anyway. Nice glitch, nice glitch. It really works for me because otherwise he would have just lost 10,000 EXP. So I'll take that, I'll take that outcome. <laughs> okay, for some reason he just still has nine. I guess... I guess they didn't actually take damage during that outro for some reason. Well, that's about as close as you can get it. Panamona would definitely have not been able to do the damage he needed to do on his own, so I'm really glad for that item use there. The Fire Veil may be not as good, but... Panamona's still got tons of MP, so even though this doesn't heal much in a shot, may as well do it this way. 
Wow, that actually depleted it really fast. Well, I now have Titan. Titan, I think, is my strongest summon, so... At this point... They all seem kind of similar. Titan does Petrify. Ramit does nothing, actually. That's kind of lame, because the multi-target status setting, in addition to the damage, is usually really, really nice. But yeah, Petrify isn't probably as good as Confuse or Slow, because it's going to affect fewer things. Alright, I don't think there's anything left to do here, since normally I would just grab the Titan Materia. Okay. I don't want to underestimate this guy. He could definitely be dangerous. That paralyze is pretty nasty too. I'm gonna set up barrier right away. Paralyze will probably run out quickly on demo, I think, because she's hasted and I'll haste Panamona. I definitely want to treat this fight like a boss fight. These guys can be kinda of dangerous as I recall. Does Lycomorph actually work on them? I don't think it does, but... Nah. Worth a shot anyway, so... And Haste Cloud. I'm not bothering with lim Devil's Limit Break right away, because... I... I doubt it's going to be that powerful in this battle. I don't think putting the machine to sleep is going to work, so let's cast... Let's move Kate's into the back row, actually. I don't think I'll use this front rowness here. I was too busy trying to read the stats at the same time, so I messed up the slots. And that was actually still some damage. 2,000 left. Let's see how much this Quake does. It's less than I thought, actually. Well, it is Kate Sith, and his magic is extremely low, so that would explain it. Yeah, that is much better. This is why I had Quake on Kate Sith to begin with, is just for this fight, because it's pretty tanky, and being able to swap to the back is pretty nice here. Um, I would definitely kill it with a Quake. Oh, Shift's gear is haste, I think. Um, I th think she was able to kill it? I can't remember. Gosh, this thing hasted is not something I really want. And... Wow. Pizza is out of... Well, I might as well smack him anyway. Well, she's already paralyzed, so that's probably not gonna matter. That sucks. Alright, let's give her a heal. I think I can do this, get this thing dead without... Get this thing dead! Kill this thing without slowing it. Alright, I don't think this is enough. No, not quite. So don't hit demo, please. Nice. And it's a power wrist. That is new, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm not complaining about that. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. It was definitely worth the time to morph it. Power wrist. Just pure strength plus 25. Now, I'm kind of going to give that to Kate Sith right now, because he needs every bit of stats he can get. And I don't think the sleep protection was mattering much here. So now, he's up to 25... I mean, 50 strength with that thing. Which is actually more than Tifa, surprisingly. Tifa's actually the lowest, even though... But she is the fastest, which usually makes up for that, even still. Kate Sith is doing a lot more damage already than he was at the start of the day. 
and I think that's it for now. See you next time.